Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I have a different type of ghost story for you today. So one of the things I get asked a lot is how do I see or how do I feel or how do I know that there's a ghost? So one of the things that most importantly happens is, is whatever your gift is, is that's how you're going to receive that information first. So because I'm a clairsensitive and that's my strongest gift that I deal with, um, I sense the ghost first. I feel the energy from the ghost first. Secondly, I hear them. That's my second strongest gift is I'm clairaudient. I can literally hear the words coming out of their mouth. Um, and third is I'm clairvoyant. So then I actually see them, but I feel them first. I, you know, hear them and then I actually get to see them. And I will tell people that that's usually what happens is whatever your strongest gift is, is usually the way that you see the ghost or feel the ghost or sense the ghost that they're there. You'll feel it or you'll sense it or you'll hear it. Um, you may see it. Um, I have a lot of people around me that see ghosts right away. I don't see them right away. I'll feel them right away. I can feel where their energy is. I can feel the information that they're trying to give me, but that's my strongest gift. So feeling ghost is actually my strongest gift and I deal with it every day. I feel their energy around me, no matter where I go, if it's the grocery store, restaurant, shopping, um, shoe shopping, clothing shopping, it doesn't matter. I feel their energy first and then I'll hear their information. And then last, not least, I will see them if they choose for me to see them. And the way I see them, because it's not my strongest gift, I see them in kind of like segments. It's kind of like a, almost like an old Xerox machine where, you, you know, like the light bar going down. I'll see them um, like that. Um, just like, you know, this is their head and their neck and then their shoulders and their torso and then down to their hips and their legs all the way back up. And so that's kind of the way I see them. Um, now, I will tell you that when I'm around ghosts that I'm I've been connected to, friends that have passed, family members that have passed, I will sense their energy only. I very rarely will see them because I already have an image of them in my mind. So I don't have to see them. Um, I had a good friend that passed away a couple of years ago. And when he comes to me, I don't see him um, that way I can just feel his energy and know that it's him and have great conversations with him. And it's the same way with my parents that have both passed or family members that have passed, aunts and uncles that have passed. I will see, not see their inner energy. I will sense their energy first and then I can see them if they choose for me to. Um, it really depends on what your greatest gift is, um, but everybody has these gifts and abilities. That's what I truly believe. Everybody has them. Some are just more attached to them than others. Um, it's just like anything else. Some people may get on a bike and ride it the first time, no problem. And then other people may have an issue learning about how to ride the bike or getting their balance. So it just takes longer. It doesn't mean that anyone's better than anybody else. It's just, how do you learn the energy? Um, I have always been connected to ghosts. I've seen um, and sensed um, angels and ghost my whole life. I can feel an angel from miles away and just be like, oh, there's another one. I can I can sense their energy. Um, I can sense um, archangel energy really easy. I deal with them a lot. I work with them a lot, um, clearing up and cleansing energy with not only myself, but with other people. So that's something that I deal with quite often um, is uh, sensing their energy and sensing what their purpose is and why they're there to help us. Um, if you have any questions about sensing ghost or how to open that up, um, please uh, leave me a comment beneath me and um, or subscribe to my channel. I love, I've loved, loved, loved uh, making all these ghost stories for you guys, and I hope you have an amazing day. If you have any questions, write them below. I will contact you, and um, it's so much fun to hear from other people that hear ghost and see ghost and sense ghost. It's really fun. I hope you have an amazing day and know we'll be talking soon.